So this is fun. I like. Yeah. This so this is uh, this is the um, the towel from Rabbit Skin. So we we threw this in because this has more of that terry cloth type feel, mm -hmm. right? And um, I thought we'd look at you know what what do parents want to do? They want to include their kids these days, right? So why not? Uh, I know you picked out some great logos for like the the spa. Maybe think about like a gift gift shop off offering. Yeah, right? there's always plenty yeah. of like the nice luxurious spa robes yeah. for the parents, uh, the welcome gifts for the yeah. parents. But hey, the kids want included too. Exactly. And so how about next time you go out to that resort or that spa or that client and there are families traveling, uh, incorporating a fun little item like this. Um, and who did you say this was from again? This is from Rabbit Skins. Okay, so. excellent. Um, and we have a lot of different ways that we can accommodate this because I already have the hat press heated up. Uh, this sort of hood area that comes over the, the kid's uh, head with the it's fun got the nice little, little ears. ears. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to use cool. the hat press for that. Yeah. And let's start there. And so again, you have this flat surface on the outside and then the, the kind of Terry loop on the inside. Yeah. And look at this. Using yeah. the ears for alignment right between the ears. <laughs> right? All right. Got to use it. Yep. And then uh, this is a what's called a sublimated twill patch. And so we call it um, CAD Prince Permatwill, really long name, but basically sure. it's a digital twill transfer. So it's great because some of the patches like embroidery patches, they can, and PVC patches, they can even get expensive or you have to be to a certain quantity to have it make sense. We know typically the kid stuff doesn't sell it as high volumes as the adult. So having great a nice point. low run product yeah. that you can get quick turn uh, is great on this. So Fantastic point. on this yeah. one, I'm going to grab a cover sheet because that is sublimated, right? And so I'm going to cover this with a cover sheet. I could trim this to size if I wanted, if I had or scissors, or I'll just kind of it in there, fold it over, right? Then I'm gonna take my rubberized pad on the top, and again, we'll just lock it down. This one, I would have high confidence running for the 280 on top, 320 on bottom for 30 seconds. That will give me the quickest result if I'm running production because I already had my heat press set up for the 60 seconds and the lower temperature on top from the other products. We can apply it at that as well. Nice. So again, just extend that dwell time if you're lowering your temperature. Uh, I'm not as concerned about the terry cloth damaging. I've successfully heat pressed all sorts of uh, golf towels in the past, Sure. Um, beach towels, et cetera. Uh, People are intimidated by it, but that's a myth. You can absolutely decorate these fabrics without issue. So back to the, the, the sublimated, you're putting that kind of like preventative sheet to protect your foam pad, but also to keep the ink in there. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, so when you are sublimating, the process mm -hmm. is actually, uh, it's turning into a gas when it's heated. Um, and so that is the process of dyeing the white twill when we make the patch. Sure. But when you heat it again, that gas wants to release. And so I don't want to damage this more expensive pad. So I put right. this cheaper cover sheet in between. So if there's any Smart. release, it's covered. So we'll let this one cool down. As it's cooling down before I remove that uh, tape from it, let's sure. go ahead uh, to the flat press and show a full back print. So I have this already heated up to 300, 305 degrees. Um, I'm going to start with the preheat on this since it's not sure. warming from underneath. And that's when I'll actually check my pressure. Um, it says overload, so it's too much pressure. So let me just adjust that back. And that's a six, so that's a nice medium pressure. Preheat step, and we're gonna do a full back print. Now, because I'm decorating this nice textured fabric, I went ahead and selected a product that we called soft foam. And so you'll notice different media, single sure. color media, um, it's a full back uh, print on this. And so soft foam is really pliable and kind of matches the, the the feel and the aesthetic of the piece. That's nice. Now, didn't we use the printed soft foam on the velour hat? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. So you, you can get uh, digital transfers sure. out of soft foam, or you can get the single color soft foam, which can be loaded into a vinyl cutter and cut, or ordered cut for you. So you just position and press it. Nice. Pretty quick application now, 15 seconds. I like it. Open it up, swing it away. And this is a warm peel, so I'm just going to give it a couple seconds, and then I'll grab the corner and peel away the backing. Again, I'm anxious, so I peel yeah. too quick. So let me just tack it again for a few seconds. Hey, we're here. Get it to hold back, yeah. and I'll remove it from the press, and then we'll go ahead and let it cool down for just a bit, and then we will remove the backing warm like it calls for. So 
You can see the finished piece, backing's getting ready to be peeled. While we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and peel this. This is certainly cooled down by now, our front piece. That piece is done. You got a gift store ready piece right here. It's pretty sharp, I it think. Is. I think Absolutely. Uh, any kid or family would be excited to receive this. And uh, whenever they check into a resort or schedule a spa appointment or stop at the kids club, I just think there are a ton of opportunities for just creating, correlating, uh, coordinating pieces for the youth market. So it's nice. And then, you know, anytime you can offer a kind of a, a double hit on for locations with logos. I think it's just, it's, it's a bonus.